Hello, and welcome to Casual Run Gaming. This is Jay. Hope you're all doing well on this uh, fine Monday evening. Hello, hello, it's been a while. Welcome back. We are back in, uh, in sort of a uh, soft rebranding of the channel. Yeah. Like I said, I, I hope you're all doing well. It's been, a bit of, it's been about a week, I'd say. And uh, as you can see, we're actually going to start playing Warframe on PC. This is going to be from the very, very beginning. Um, I've played some, not a lot, um, on Xbox, um, but want to play on PC just because it runs better and um, hoping we can uh, turn this into something we do on the channel. It would be nice and fun. It's, it's something where I can do side grinding stuff offline if I want to, uh, or we can do it while live and uh, mostly just work or try to at least always fit all of the story stuff in on the stream. So should be a good time. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. Um, uh, also, do not be alarmed. I, I will. There's a, I think there's a pretty long cutscene at the beginning. I'm actually going to cut out my camera uh, just so I'm not in the way of anything that's happening. It's uh, if I remember, it sets up a pretty cool uh, part of the story there. Um, even though the, I hadn't played too, too much of the game, but, uh, and when I say too, too much, I probably played like 40 or 50 hours, which anyone who plays Warframe knows is not much. <laughs> um, but I'd gotten through some of it and, um, they just do have some cool cinematics and things like that that I don't want to get in the way of. But, uh, without further ado, let's put in, um, a password because I do have one of those and, uh, okay. Log in. Here we go. And there we go. It's not full screen for some reason. I don't know why. For generations, you've slept. No purpose. Uh, uh, uh. What's happening? No call. That doesn't look right. To wake you. That doesn't look right. <laughs> so this is starting off great. of the old war, swallowing colonies whole. But there's still hope. The Tenno. Monuments of an ancient warrior caste. Scattered across frail worlds. That was glorious. 
Or we're gonna see an intro for each one. I've never seen this intro. This is new to me. That was sick. That was sick. Uh, sweet. <laughs> That's a different opening than um, the very first one I'd ever seen. Um, okay, so choose our Warframe. Like I said, we're actually going to be going with um, Excalibur. I'm going to be watching my audio levels because this game does tend to get very, very loud. We also do have to work on some of the settings as because as you can see here, we're currently playing in windowed mode, which is a little weird. I don't know if it's just because this is kind of their main menu now. I'm not sure. Uh, so we'll be learning this on the way um i'll just read these out uh, in case if anyone has never played warframe and you're kind of jumping in for the first time and want to know what uh what these three frames do um excalibur which is the one we're going to be using it says the perfect balance of mobility and offense excalibur is the ideal warframe for new players perfect for me um even though i've played it quite a bit but I, excalibur I, is just I, I had a lot of fun with it it's kind of it, it has a good balance between guns and and uh melee and that's what i like uh, i like being able to do both uh because uh, the game is very flashy and uh it, it you just feel super strong <laughs> uh mag which i've watched others play with and I, I think i may have dabbled with at one point real quick i don't know why but um i know i didn't stick with it uh with full command of surrounding ma magnetic energy mag is an expert at enemy manipulation not really sure what it means um volt uh volt can create and harness electrical elements this is a high damage warframe perfect for players who want a potent alternative to gunplay so basically i guess from what it sounds like more of a melee focused warframe uh, which sounds cool, but um, I do like having the option of going both ways and being uh, pretty efficient with both. Um, so we're going to go with Excalibur, like I said. Um, is Slash Dash. See? 
So that, that's pretty cool. It's one of his specials. Or, uh, passive... Wait, no, that's one of his, uh... What are they called? Just abilities, I guess. Radial Blind. I don't think I ever used that one much. I think I always just used Slash Ash. Uh, Radial Javelin. Oh, that's pretty neat. An Exalted Blade. Alright, so let's read what they are. Slash Ash. Dash between enemies while slashing with the Exalted Blade. Yep, this is the one that I would use all the time. Your Drain is how much energy it uses every time you use it. Uh, the range is just like it sounds. Kind of like the area of effect that it has. Uh, and how far they'll actually go to slash enemies. Damage is <laughs> whatever those symbols are. Uh, 75. And I think that those might stand for some sort of like elemental and um, uh, like kinetic type damage. Radio blind emits a bright flash of light blinding all enemies in a small radius for several seconds. Uh, drain is 50. Radius 15 meters. And duration is 7 seconds. That probably comes in handy. You know what? That probably comes in handy against the second or I don't know if he's the second boss, but there's a boss that I had a hard time with when I played it on console. Uh, launch, uh, Radial Javelin launches javelins toward enemies, dealing high damage and impaling them to walls. <laughs> Drain is 75, radius 15 meters damage. Uh, you see it right there, 500. Number, number of javelins, Cinco, also known as five. Exalted Blade, summon a sword of pure light and immense power. Uh, Drain, 25. I think I may have used this one as well. Oh wait, no way, that, I've never used that, that looks awesome. Yeah, we're gonna have to remember to use that at some point. Uh, do we do we pick one of these? Nope. I guess we get them all, and I think we unlock them as we go. Uh, passive abilities: uh, Excalibur deals 10% increased damage and attacks 10% faster when wielding swords. Here we go. All right, let's confirm. Oh. I see the Lotus has tried to wake you. Pity she's too late. You're my prize now, Dendo. No! We are taking this one with us! What has he done to you? I can't lose another Tenno. I'm surging your Warframe's power systems. Very cool, okay. <laughs> Quick! Ah! <laughs> gotcha! Um, so, I'm actually going to be using a controller because I actually feel much more comfortable with the controller with this game. It plays beautifully with it. Um, well, looks like I need to plug that, that in. Um, the melee, it, it works kind of funny. Um, using the keyboard and uh, as much as I use the melee, I, I really want to have it kind of uh, be a lot easier to use. So we're going to use a controller, but I, I am going to navigate, I think, the menus with my mouse and keyboard or mouse. I don't know if the keyboard really comes into much use with that. But uh, one thing we definitely want to do is that I want this game to not be windowed. Um, display. Windowed. No. Borderless full screen. There we go. Window scaling mode. Native. Use native mode to override Windows app scaling. Note, may severely reduce performance. Severely. Uh, scaled. Use native... Nani? Okay. Um, aspect ratio... 6 by... 16 by 9? Uh, vertical sync. Um, she's in the way! <laughs> um... Field of view, we're going to put that at about 90. That's what I had it. Oh, okay. The whole way up. Enable screen shake. No. Uh, we'll leave that the way it is with the effects intensity. Uh, graphical quality. Preset. Custom. Uh, blur reflections. Uh, applies the blur effect to the various local reflections found throughout the game. It's able to improve performance. Uh, okay. Film grain. I'm not a fan of film grain. Um... Uh, dynamic resolution, we'll leave that alone for now. Uh, we'll change it if we need to. Oh, wait. Mo motion blur. Hold on. Hold on. So these are two different things then? Blur reflections? We'll, we'll leave that there. Um, 
distortions, full screen distortion effects. Uh, I'm not really a fan of those, I think, uh, from playing on console. Bloom intensity, color correction, dynamic lighting. Okay. Confirm. Uh, no, 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 go back. Also, this game tends to be really, really loud, so we're going to turn that down to about a 40? 40? Maybe 50? <laughs> 50 sounds good. Um, also, where's Ortis volume? Ortis volume's gotta come down. Um, sorry, Ortis. Um, music volume. Put that down to, like, 80. I wish I remembered what I had this set on console. Because I, 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 I got it pretty good there. Um, I just know that Ortis ends up being really, really loud. And he talks a lot, so. Um... Okay. All right. Confirm. Wish it didn't bring me back though. Ah, uh, controls. Um. Okay, we'll leave vibration off, please. Um. Gameplay. A lot of invites from. Uh, right now, nobody. I'm playing solo. Uh, receive gifts from nobody. Receive friend requests from nobody at the current time. Show friend requests notifications. Creator mode? I don't know what that is. Gore enabled. Um. Mm. Smile. Yo, what's up there, Alex? How's it going, man? What is up? How you doing? Uh, UI cursor sensitivity. It's at 100, and this is... That's not very fast. <laughs> that up to, like, uh... I don't know, uh, 200. The 200? 201. Uh... Yeah, 170 feels good at the moment. <laughs> oh wait is there a way to lock this game at 60 fps i have a feeling it's gonna try and be cuckoo nuts well v-sync is on okay use your power defend yourself whoa 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 also what the dang the bounds on this thing are nuts. The bounds on the bounds on this thing is nuts. Nuts. It it's crazy. It's weird. Um. All right. So where's where's the thing when I, where I can tell it? Hey, it's it's too um. It's too wide. Hmm. Uh, it's like where where you can adjust how uh, the border of the game because that right, right now it feels like it's too too uh, wide. Oh, max frame rate. Okay, I can't change it. Um. Hmm. Interface? UI customization? Uh, theme can only be changed. Okay, that's the theme. Uh, menu scale? HUD. Um, I'm going to just margins. Here we go. Okay. Oh, really? It can go further? Okay. Odd. Um. HUD scale. Alright. 
we'll have to live with it for now. Um, it might, it might just be that it was, yeah, it was bugging out a little bit. All right, so we, that that's how we jump. Hey guys, just leave me here all alone, all alone. Uh, press right bumper and press A. I did it. I'm running now. Uh, I gotta change that, um, the sprint there. Hold on. Um, ship is waiting for you, but the Grenier will be hunting you. She, on she's, yourself. yep. Um, okay. What was it? Um, controls. Okay. Uh, Toggle sprint. Use mouse thumb button as back. What? Cool. All right. All right. Let's see. Is that better? Yeah. There we go. Wow. This looks a lot different <laughs> than it did the very first time I played it. Wow. That looks a lot different. Oh gosh, please tell me if this is coming through as choppy as it looks on my screen. I think it is. That's not, that's not good. No bueno. Oh, it's because my GPU usage is through the roof. Through the roof. Um, options. Hello? Um, display. Go with medium, uh, but get rid of that. Get rid of motion blur. I do not like motion blur. Okay. Hopefully that helps helps out a little bit. Ah, our our GPU is high as a kite. What is going on? Wow. Wow, we need to figure that out. Um. Hmm. Okay. But it's still not letting me set a max frame rate. That's odd. Um. Okay. Nope, that's still... Wow, that's really high. I don't know why. Uh, we are gonna go with, uh, the bow. That is really hard to read. I wonder what resolution this game is running at. I wonder what resolution it's running at, because... Huh. It didn't it didn't allow, allow me to set it, so Boop. Loot. Uh hi. There we go. Hmm. Wow, we are dropping tons of, or dropping tons of frames due to a rendering lag. Hmm. 
Also, this is really slow. What the heck? Oh, wait, no. 720. See if that helps a little bit. Nope. Is this game really that much of a GPU hog? Hold on. Uh how the heck do you get out of this game? <laughs> no. Hmm. Hold on. Oh yeah, this this game's wrecking my GPU. Big time. Uh No. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Oh, I mean, I went backwards. Kill. Uh, nope. I'm the best shooter there ever was. Oh, who shot? Who shot the uh, little rabbit guy? I may have to adjust the uh, sensitivity for the uh, for the guns. Good. The extraction point is up ahead. Hurry before Vor finds out you've escaped. Wow. Forgot how weak you are at the very beginning. A tenno flows like fire over the battle terrain. Do you remember how to dash up walls? Yep. Whoops. <laughs> I swear I do. I do. Hey there, Knife. How's it going? What is up, my dude? Wow. My GPU's getting wrecked. Hey! That hurt. Yeah. What is this little animal guy doing here? He's very hard to kill. What's this? This is Warframe. Um, this is a free-to-play game. It's actually been out for years. Um, 
available on um, console and on PC. We're currently um, starting a character on PC. I've, I've actually played this um, not a lot, but some on um, on console. But apparently, they they changed the whole entire beginning of this game. The Queens wants to destroy you, but I need to know more. But uh, this game's cool. It's, a, it's basically Space Ninjas the game. You ever played Detroit Become Human? No. Nope. Hopefully one day, but uh, I've never played it. Have you? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's our, uh... Nope, we're gonna go with the, uh... Assault rifle. Assault... Oh, blah, blah. Assault rifle. Whoa, hey! You know, uh, it's actually on PC as well. Yep, it's available. I think it might be on Steam now as well. Or um, I say as well, but I, I meant to say it's on. It's available on Epic Game Store first. And then I think it's on Steam now as well. Um, it's part of the whole entire initiative that uh, PlayStation is doing in order to bring more of their first party games over to. Um, oh over to uh, PC. So like recently, Horizon Zero Dawn came to PC for the first time. Um, Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls came to PC last year. Oh, no. Operator, but it is me. Enemy reinforcements are here. Ship Cephalon, we require immediate extraction. The operator is in danger. I will need a few moments to cycle the engines. Whoa, whoa, whoa there's a sniper somewhere. General, are you afraid? You cannot hide from me. Where are you? Eyes. I've marked you. You will return to me. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry for all the um, stutters and stuff. Um, this game is wrecking my GPU for some reason. Why? Why is that blinking red? That's weird. Defend the ship. Oops. Yeah, nice. I wasn't sure if I had my special ability yet, but I guess I do. There we go. Nice. Mission one down. That was faster than I thought. Getting tired of waiting. Uh, 75% off your next platinum purchase. Uh, oops. No, that, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, it is superior to theirs. Uh, shift tab? There we go. All right. Well, here we go. This is our ship. Those savages. Those savages. have been removed. The lower orbiter compartments have no life support. Why did the operator abandon me? I don't know. But I'm here now. 
No Muscle need to worry. Arrangement could be restored if the operator wishes it. Good thing we had one of those on us, huh? That could have been bad. Honor, Ordis. Now I can supply the operator with better modified firepower. Can you oh, now? The violation. Those have been looted as well. Darn. We need to figure out what Captain Bohr has done to you and stop him. But we'll need help. I found a communication segment we might salvage for your ship. When you are ready, activate your navigation system. Or to search the operator will punish the video for dismantling it. Okay. Um, I don't know what it is that is making my computer freak out. Uh, solo, thank you. Okay, we're currently running an Excalibur with a MK1 Bratton, a Lato, and a MK1 Bow. Um, I'm I'm kind of wondering if if logging out and then logging back in will actually fix things. Ooh, we have three thousand um credits already and fifty uh platinum. They I guess they could just give you that for free for starting the game. So, uh, exit game. Okay, we're gonna give that a second. I don't know why um, that, that game is running like that. Uh, I didn't realize the game was intensive on systems, uh, especially because this game came out so long ago. But uh, all right, let's let's give it a whirl again. Have I ever watched Futurama? No, I have not. Is that what you're watching right now? And open. We also did run into a problem where, for some reason, this was running in windowed at first. Uh, it, I don't know if it's just maybe my my PC can't can handle it. I I really don't know. It's a good thing that I think tomorrow they're unveiling new graphics cards. Um, so hopefully, um. With what we see there, I'll I'll hopefully be able to uh, be able to pick up one of those. Oh, you're watching the best thing you could possibly watch then. Good choice. <laughs> uh, Nora is back on the air with Nightwave Seeds. Uh, okay, this is um, it's like a little side quest type thing. I tried doing this on console and I couldn't understand what it is that was going on. Have I ever played the Nuka World DLC? Yeah, yep, I did once. Um, it was good. Holy cow. Um, it was good. Um, when you are ready, I wasn't a fan of the, the ending console. of it. I wasn't a fan of the ending of it. Um, I don't know what I did, but the game got really difficult. I think I made everyone angry at me. I don't know. It was kind of weird. <laughs> All right. So still at 50% usage. Um, I don't know. Let's 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 see what goes on here. Uh, we're gonna do. Um, let's see. Usually, when there's something you have to do, it kind of blinks on the map there. Um, this is what we want to do, though. Force prize. There it is. There it goes. All right, here we go. Knife. Um, you might want to try this game. It's uh free. It's free to play. I personally have never bought anything. <laughs> Uh, when I played on console. There's no reason to. Um, also, if you link it with your Twitch Prime account... The segment actually, you need is in a nearby data vault. Infiltrate the vault and retrieve the segment. They now call it Prime Gaming, uh, which is where you... The hold on. Is we'll let this guy talk. Through, I see the shadows of your mind. He sees the shadows of my mind. It's scary. Um... You can link your Prime Gaming account, which is if you link uh, Amazon Prime to Twitch. Um, you actually get new Warframe stuff for free, like every now and then, this data like every month or two. You can get a mod where the Minutemen attack and take over nuclear. Really? I would have liked that because the Minutemen is who I liked. I didn't like any of the Raider 
factions. Like I, there there was one I I don't remember which one, but there was one that I liked, that I hated the least, and that's the one I went with. Um, I'm I'm always a good guy in every game I play, and I just felt like none of them were really trying to be good. And uh, I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't happy with with the ending I got. And then like I said, I did something that like they had a big fight. And, like, they all were angry with me. They hated me. So. Oh. <laughs> like, I had no idea. They, they called that a stealth kill. I don't know if the game knows this, but that ain't no stealth kill. Oh no! Whoa! Oh, it's the Kubros! Alright, why- why can I not find the way up? Uh, you also have to get the minimum upgrade mod or else they get destroyed during the attack. Oh! So, is that canon? Is that how it happens in the game that if you pick one of the raider factions, it means that the minimen get um, eradicated? Uh, beep boop. The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. T well then, I never knew that this was up here. Whee! <laughs> well, there we go. Well, that worked out nicely because I really stink at the uh, stealth missions, like, real bad. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. The segment is yours. Head to extraction. Well, that was quick and easy. Hey, Mario, how's it going? Whoops. Revealing. They know I'm here. So much for the stealth mission. Doing good, doing good. Enjoying me some Warframe. Trying to make it work well on my uh, computer. <laughs> I don't really know how well it's going. Feel like uh, it's pretty choppy so far. Who needs to be accurate? Oh, they just stand around. Nothing really happens. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man, I got stuck. Nice. We got a mod. It's flawed, but we got a mod. We got a mod, but it's flawed. go practice makes perfect reach reach rank two with any weapon practice they say and we see his friend gets shot in the face must be the win <laughs> what? 
Hopefully that wasn't super choppy on your end. Um, I think the GPU has calmed down a little bit. Uh, just the beginning, for some reason, really wrecked it. Oh, look at the way this stuff is now. This game looks completely different than it used to. Six lockers opened. I don't even know what that means. It looks smooth on your end. Okay. It was pretty choppy at first. It was pretty bad. Um, okay. This looks a lot different than it used to. Uh, it's a lot cleaner. Orbiter void cloak engaging. Welcome a lot cleaner. Back, operator. The operator has recovered a segment. Install it now. Orders patiently awaits. Its okay. Patiently awaits, huh? Get communications online. I must analyze what Vor's Ascaris is doing to your warframe. This <laughs> You have opened here. up the market. It must be Corpus in origin. <laughs> Systems engaging. I suppose this will do. Ordis is grateful. Yeah, th um, there there was an expansion that came out like a week or two ago. Um, the maybe they redid the whole entire the UI system. or something. I don't really know. I don't know what it looked contact. like before. Mainly, I'd never played Warframe. Warframe is fantastic, and it's completely free. Completely free. Excellent idea, Ordis. Tenno, we need to make contact with a corpus defector sympathetic to the Tenno cause. They will, of course, require compensation. You see what Ordis is referring to, Operator? In this case, compensation will not be credits. It will be freedom. I've updated navigation. You will need to break him out of a Grenier Gulag. Gulag? Let's, uh, wait. Can we use the mod station yet? Nope, it's offline. Okay. Um. Oh wow, we can't do anything. Okay, darn. I was I, I was hoping I could get around it and install mods, <laughs> but no, nah, it didn't work. Mods are basically your up your upgrades to your armor and uh, weapons and such. And I was hoping that like, oh well, okay, the machine's not working, but if I go to the one that will let me change weapons and such, does it have the upgrade there? And it didn't. So. Oh, you know what's funny is that uh, Elder Scrolls Online is actually going to be one of our, one of the games we're going to play on the channel pretty soon. Um, you're not in the Discord, so I, I and I don't think Knife is either. Um, I'll let you guys know real quick. Basically, um, we've we've done a like soft relaunch of the stream. The stream wasn't live for about a week, uh, and to be honest, I became pretty burnt out of what we were doing. Uh, just the channel had been struggling for a long time. And, um, the engagement had gone way, way down, uh, which, which wasn't great, uh, which, so it felt a lot more just like, I'm just playing video games. <laughs> and it's just like, that's, that, that's not really what I'm looking for. And, um, it's tough because I don't play games on release. And also, um, I tend to play a lot of things that a lot of people just don't know about. So they don't, so there's not a whole lot of chatter that goes on, on around it. Um, so I've actually decided to kind of do a soft relaunch of the channel. So basically that just, that's my way of saying like, basically we're dumping the old, uh, style of content that we used to do as far as, uh, what the game choices. So we're not going to do any of the single player stuff anymore that I'm actually planning on still recording that and putting, uh, putting that up on YouTube. Um, it'll be few and far between, but I, I do want to play those games. Like I love Yakuza is zero. Um, so I still want to make the content for that. And I want to finish that game. Um, so that will be on YouTube for whoever ends up watching the YouTube. It'll be there in case if anyone ever wants to see it. Um, and just here on the channel, we're actually going to try and focus on these five games uh, that I'm about to mention here. Um, there's a big if, especially for one that comes out tomorrow, because I don't know what the reception is going to be like. And I honestly don't know if it has legs or not. Um, so Warframe is uh like you see that's going to be one of them that we're going to be, be be playing uh and it's going to be in the mix going forward uh you heard me say the elder scrolls online um uh, that will eventually get put into the rotation uh some of these games i don't currently own so like the elder scrolls online i don't own it and i'm not going to play it on console i'm going to play it on pc um so i have to i'm i'm just waiting for like a sale or something before 
I jump into it because I do also want to uh, get the like the, the membership that's like 10 or $15 a month so I can have unlimited in inventory space and stuff. So I do want to make sure that I get that at the right time. Um, Final Fantasy 14 will be something that we'll be playing on the channel. Um, Monster Hunter World. Um, and uh, <laughs> the one that I'm not super 100% sure on uh, is Marvel's Avengers um, for two reasons. One being the reception prior to its launch. It launches tomorrow for anyone who bought the early access has not been great. Um, the community is kind of mad with them uh, just because they they look at it as a cash grab. I played the beta for two of the weeks. I had a really good time. The main thing that I'm concerned with is the performance on my system. That being said, I am hoping to uh, build or get a new PC by the end of the year. So hopefully, you know, we'll play it the way the way it is. And then by the time we get the new PC, it'll be running a lot better. And uh, have smoother gameplay to um, make content with. But um, yeah, but for the most part, a lot of like the only games that are currently on Warframe because it's free and Final Fantasy 14. Um, then the others I'll just pick up along the way. But that's pretty much going to be the five games that we rotate here on the channel. If ever I get to a point where I just don't want to play one of those games anymore, or I just feel like they're not making content anymore, or like the game has pretty much gone to pasture and it's done, um, we'll put something else in the mix. So that's why I'm kind of saying that about Marvel's Avengers, because if something ends up happening, either I don't get it or we go through the content really fast and they kind of just stop putting out stuff, we'll bring something else into the mix and i'm kind of trying to stick to games that are mmos and multiplayer focused um so i can do the solo content but then um if anyone wants to play with me for anything that requires a group or something we can get together and do that um uh you th you thought what came out months ago what exactly did you think came out months ago Wait, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do that again. What? Okay, I'm, I missed something here. Hold on. Vor's Prize. Oh, okay, nope. All right, so Vor's Prize apparently has more than one... Um, more than one objective. So. The Avengers game, no. Uh, it had a, it's, it's had three betas. Um, it had... The first week was a closed beta for PS4. The second week was a closed beta for Xbox and PC. And then the third week was um, an open beta for everyone. And that was uh, the arms is named last week? Darbo. He's being held in the prison block on the other side of this factory complex. Not last weekend, but the weekend before. But uh, the official launch is... Friday, but if you purchase, if you, whoa, if you pre-order the game, you, uh, the How ultimate edition of the game, you get to access tomorrow. Yep, 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 yep. Beta might have been one of, oh, okay, yeah. And I, 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 I had a good, I had a good time. I'm really into Marvel and stuff like that, so it was an easy sell for me, but I can understand how some people think it's a cash grab. Uh, I personally had a lot of fun with it. I could see myself sinking a lot of time into it, so I'm I'm just more nervous um, about my PC really not being able to handle it and me and I don't want to waste my money. Like I'd like to start playing tomorrow, but if I do, it's eighty dollars. Um, if I do end up purchasing it, so. <laughs> I'll be upset if it's like, oh, what the heck? And uh, I just bought this for 80 bucks <laughs> and now I can't even really play it because my PC's a dud, you know? So, but um, I, I did really enjoy what I played and I'm a sucker for Marvel stuff, so. One of the things I'm looking forward to is Ark Survival of All Genesis Part 2 and ESO Graymore Stonethorn. What what is Graymore Stonethorn? Because I thought that Graymore just came out. Are they expanding the expansion? Better isn't free to play with the option to buy. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's what some people are saying. Like, why isn't this game just free to play? Because <laughs> they're also offering these things called battle passes. <laughs> that um, basically... I, I don't know if I understand it 100% correctly, but it basically sounds like, hey, so here's this new character, which the new characters that they add are going to be free from what I've heard, I think. Um, right? Um, but then in order to kind of get their alternate costumes and stuff quicker, you can buy a battle pass uh, to be able to get all that content quicker. Um, I wouldn't want to do that. But I I wonder if they're going to have anything exclusive to the Battle Pass. Where it's like, well, if you don't pay that 10 bucks, you will never get that costume. This it's like... This is the prison block. If you can avoid detection by the Warden, it may be easier to get Darbo out. Um, Bypass the security so we can enter. Oh, do it. I don't want to have stuff locked. So, so like, I, I can't get it. Search these cells for Darbo. He has to be here somewhere. Uh, something that people really don't like that they did was that Spider-Man is only available on PS4. Um, and he doesn't come out for like six months. <laughs> I owe you for this demo. I will give my entourage to meet us in orbit once we So people, so this. people have issue with that. And honestly, I kind of agree with why they're, uh, Darbo mad about it. There, why can I not go through there? Um, can I go underneath? Ah, crap. The Lotus must crap. be desperate to send you fetching greedy fools from the corpus. But yeah, I'm... Give me a sidearm, Tino. I'll cover you. No, I'm Should not going to give you a sidearm. <laughs> I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. Oh, that's the warden. I didn't even know. Hold on. There was something shiny. Oh. Nope. Nope. I've been seen. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Shall we see how your insides work? Is that, is that what you're saying? Control your shield. We must figure out how to remove it. Avoid taking damage while I try and block him. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, leave him alone. Oh gosh. I don't know why the movement is the way it is. Um, they're not allowing me to like turn around easily. Not quite sure what's going on there. Not quite sure. Whoa, oh, whew, that was close. Oh, man. 1,000 credits. Thank you. Look at all these mods. We got... Man, we got... Are those legendary? Really? Cool. Mission complete. Uh, cool. I see the operator can enable the mod segment now. Ordis will be delighted to show you how to upgrade your arsenal. Let's May go. Recommend fire? He recommends fire. I don't think we have fire as an option, guy. I do not think that is an actual option. Operator, I've linked the mod segment to your arsenal now. No need to thank me. Uh, upgrade your Warframe now. Go to the Arsenal to see the weapon upgrade options you have. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll go do what he says first. All right. This is where we upgrade uh, our, our, our frames and our weapons is here. Ordis patiently awaits compliance in using the new Arsenal features. So you go here. So the operator's own good. An excellent find, Operator. There are hundreds of these mods to locate. If my calculations are correct, there are exactly a lot of possibilities. <laughs> a lot of possibilities. Mod before we can continue. 
Now, I cheat, and I just tell it to optimize. So, I just do auto install, um, which I know most people are probably like, what are you crazy? Why, why would you do that? But um, <laughs> to me, the modding system is a little, I just don't understand it. It's, it's too hard for my brain. Um, I'm sure at some point I will understand it, but I've always just auto installed and everything's worked out great. Um, but basically I know that capacity means that you see these numbers here, two and one on the top right of these, uh, mod cards. It, uh, your capacity is how, has how many you can actually have. And as you see there, two plus one equals three. So that's what's going on there. Um, and what that did, it actually gave us uh, 40 more shield, which is actually 33% more shield. It's fantastic. And duration of our ability uh, has gone up by 3%. Small boost. Um, and honestly, I don't think it really matters because the uh, ability that I use most of the time is the slash one. And that one doesn't actually have a timer. Um, so unless if that's duration on how long it takes for it to. Uh, no, wait. No. Cause it's not like it has to, like it has a cooldown. Hmm. Uh, it says it modifies the duration of Warframe abilities and the energy cost of toggle abilities. Hover over each ability to see how its stats are affected. Uh, thanks for helping me out back there. Ain't no problem. In your debt. Yeah, you I are. Often pay my debts. I recognize that device. Just often. It's a parasitic restraint. We corpus do something similar to keep our robotics in line. So, to settle my debt, I give you a very expensive blueprint. For free! Oh, what a nice guy. Thank you. <laughs> and, well, a lot of my customers don't live long with these grenade dogs chewing up the system. Here, use your foundry to build a countermeasure device from this blueprint. Good luck. Alright, so he's basically going to teach us how to actually, um... Ascaris is burrowing into your warframe. I'm worried it will affect your mind. I can't lose you, Tenno. We must restore the ship's foundry immediately. A nearby ore extraction colony will have the foundry technology you need. I am certain they will share it with you. Its location has been added to your navigation console. Okay, I think we're good now. Holy cow, that's too much text. I'm sorry, I can't read it. <laughs> that's way too much text. It's so much text that it doesn't even fit on my screen. <laughs> uh, is is there a way to like put that into like a sentence? <laughs> yeah, try try to put it into like a sentence or something, and then I can read it. Um, okay. So basically, what that guy just gave us, he gave us a blueprint uh, to be able to make something to take off the parasitic whatever they call it off of us, uh, which is how the how Vor is tracking us. So uh, that's gonna teach us how to use the foundry. Um, but right now we are currently here. We're going to upgrade our Bratton. Going to do the same thing. We're just going to do auto install. There was only one, uh, that we could choose from. So there goes that. Uh, we're also going to upgrade our Lotto. Got Lotto. And our bow as well, if possible. Beautiful. Okay. So there we go. Um, Parazon. We don't have anything. Okay. That's. That's like the hacking tool, I believe. Um, all right. And later on, we'll have something here that we can uh, upgrade, but not right now. I don't want the chat there. I'm going to have to figure that out next time. Uh, all right. So they actually want me to use the foundry. The foundry is right over here. It is, it is currently offline. Never mind. I guess we have to do that next... Um, mission first maybe so here is here's the modding table and what what we can do here is that we can break down mods uh if we don't need them say if you have a duplicate you can break down into uh different types of resources um one of them is credits which is basically kind of like money you see it up right up there on the top right of your screen we currently have 14,785 you can also turn um the mods into endo which endo is something um, it is a currency basically used, uh, when you are upgrading your mods, um, or fusing, I think enhance a mod by fusing endo. Yep. Right there. Uh, transmute combined four ranked unranked mods for a chance at a rare mod. I've never really done that, but that actually sounds like it might be smart. Um, oh, 
Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, well, that was better. That that was better. Does your chair recline flat? No. <laughs> this is a very cheap chair. <laughs> this this is actually a chair I got from work, um, because they had to close our office, and I was able to take my chair. But yeah, it's not it's it's not very nice. Um, you can't do anything fancy like that. Um, okay, this is flawed. Man, at this point of the game, I think a lot of what we find is flawed. But, and I don't know if we have any endo. So let's see. Uh, we're we gonna. Do we have any endo? We have zero. You can see that right up there, where it says zero on the top right. Took the chair. Yeah, they they uh, told us to go to the office and take our chairs, our monitors. All that stuff. And I barely ever went into the office, but I had my own, like, cubicle desk area. So I was able to go in and take all my stuff. And one of the things that they allowed me to take was the chair. Because they were saying, if you don't take it, we're just tossing it. And I was like, okay. I don't like just tossing things that uh, are perfectly useful. Did you put it in your car? We we have a minivan. I have three kids. Remember that. <laughs> so we, so, um, we had the van... And then we also, uh, we had a rent a, uh, we had our minivan and then we also had a rent a van because if you can see behind me, there's a love seat. There's like a faux leather, uh, love seat. That's also from the office. They told us to take everything. So they said, Hey, if you want it, if, if you can get it out of here, you can take it. So, uh, they did a raffle and we, and my wife and I won that. So we went and got that. Ah, okay. The Year of the Dragon. All right, so we can't really do any upgrading currently. Uh, looks like we'll just be moving on up. Tenno, we may have a problem. The colony is unresponsive. Get to the... Oh, no! She wasn't finished talking. It's very important stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool to get free free furniture. I mean, we didn't need it. <laughs> That's the only problem. But hey, at least it fills out the uh, the uh, living. I well, I say this. living room, the but the basement. I cannot find any signs of living colonists. You still have a job to do. They're all dead. Find the boundary segment. They're all dead. So we're here uh, trying to find a piece to make our foundry start working again. What? Oh, no. What? I, I, I couldn't tell. Ah, oh, man. Oh, that's an ability? Did not know that. Okay, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. This was once a prosperous I get caught in that animation. Hold on. There might be stuff over here. but I will show them. Their love will return when I deliver you to them. No, out of my way! Oh gosh. You had to destroy the chairs? Did I, you guys have like a a machine that could do it there? Or did you have to send it some someplace? I think the whole reason why they told everyone to take everything was because of COVID. Um I think they I think they felt that no one would take the stuff because um, because of the pandemic. This was months ago. Um, actually, it was like beginning of June that they closed our office for good. But I mean, I've I've been working from home for <laughs> a really really long time, and even when I went into the office, I would only go in like once or twice a week. I was almost never there. Because I didn't want people to take them from the dumpster. But like, what did you do to to uh, to uh, destroy the chairs? Like, what? Like, what? What? What was the procedure? Yeah. 
Got it. Your ship is one step closer to completion. Ow! Now, there is one more thing you need to do. One more thing, really? All Grenier and provide justice for the colonists. All right. Soon the worm will be in your spine. And I will control this warframe of yours. I will purge your doting mother and bring you home. See, like, my, my whole thing was, is that, well, couldn't they be donated? And th that's what I was hoping that they do, but I think it was because of the pandemic. Like, they were like, no, we're not going to give anything away. Um, so, if you want to take your stuff, you can take it, and if not, we'll throw it out. Tears were overstocked? No, we couldn't officially, but we did anyway. <laughs> Is Office Max e even around anymore? I feel like where I live, they, they they all got turned into staples. Or like staples to go, like, push, push them out. Give me that Robito, or, or the Ferrite. Woo! Headshot! Uh, Nani? Where are you? I hears you. I don't see you. There's a guy over here. It was like years ago when I was in high school. Oh! the heck this guy must be on the lower decks oh really I I have three of the train games but I've I've never played them too many games too little time hey what are you doing here I don't like that. I feel very slow right now. I'm I'm used to playing very very fast, and it's just because of this tenno. I mean ten. Yeah, well, basically, uh, this this frame uh, is pretty new. Like he's only uh, I think we're only like level two or three. Whoa! No. Yeah. Oh gosh. Wow, that was almost bad. All right, someone set off an alarm. Boop. Have I ever seen 300? Oh yeah, I saw 300 <laughs> when that movie came out in like 2005. <laughs> yeah, I saw it a long time ago. It was cool. Um, I think I have it. I just, I just haven't watched it again. It's one of those things like there's there's just not enough time to do fun fun stuff. No. Darn. Tried to go too fast that time. This is Sparta. Woo! <laughs> yeah, three three hundred is a uh, is a cool movie. Whoops! I think I just hit a button. I don't know what I just did. Tune is fun, but the narrator gets annoying after a while. From the gameplay I watched, I think the narrator was pretty pretty 
funny. Um, I, I want to say that the... Isn't the narrator like a guy from, like, Monty Python or something like that? Or he sounds like it? Sweetness! Your foundry segment is ready for installation. Did I ever see the second one? No. The um... It's it, it it's it's like one of those things where it's like did it did it need a second one? <laughs> Was the second one any good? Get this thing off my leg, please. So this is the foundry. This is basically where you make your um this is basically as you farm stuff, different you get different blue restored. blueprints. Here, um and this is this is where you make those items. Weapons and tools to exact revenge for dismantling me to expand your arsenal. <laughs> oh no. Operator, our component storage has been looted as well. The second one is amazing? Really? Sure, the blueprint is free, but jack up the components. Operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. It's better than the first one? What exactly is the story in in the second one? General, I just received a very explicit message from your ship, Sevlon. If you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? I know just <laughs> the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast, and she would never eat those things. I'm sorry? You can go straight to... Operator, I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You may want to get a new ship, Cephalon, when you can afford it. <laughs> that one seems glitched. I've marked your navigation with a place I know. It's good for resources. It's if good. If you can stand the cold. If you can stand the cold. Um, all right, we're going to go, uh, we're going to make an Ascaris negator. Uh, this is what, I, what is going to get that, the, this, this stuff off of us and, uh, Vor will no, no longer be able to, um, uh, track us. What the heck though? We don't have enough stuff. So that's what they were talking about. We have to go and get these items, uh, these resources from somewhere. So we're going to go farm some resources. Raid the Corpus resource caches. Uh, on Gaia, which is Earth. I didn't level. I mean, I didn't upgrade. Darn. Falls the, Ath the Athenians fighting the Persians in naval combat? Oh. Okay. Is it historically accurate? Darvo's intel suggests that this outpost is host to several rich supply caches. Raid the caches and take what you need. This outpost belongs to the Corpus, a secretive but extremely powerful merchant cult known to be working with the Grenier. Darvo will fill you in. Well, Darvo is a Corpus. Robots, mindless automatons, freaking lasers. These guys are bad news, but they're also loyal, which is why you're here. We slow mo. I need to figure out how to. Oh boy, I need to figure out how to use my Xbox One controller on PC because I feel like my 360 controller that I use for PC is it. It doesn't work as well. Keep moving. There is more here. Is there now? Technically, this is stealing, but don't let that bother you. The <laughs> more exactly beacons are more affordable either. They sell anything to anyone. Don't get me wrong. I like profits a lot. But I don't sell my wares to the damn Grenier. That's unforgivable. Oh gosh. Oh, nope. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Nope. Forgot. I forgot how you do those. <laughs> Whoopsies. Man, get, get away. Get, getting a lot of melee kills there. There you go. Turn turn that crap off. Wow. Wow. <laughs> My aim is so good. <laughs> I 
I think they know I'm here. But the thing is, can... Oh, I don't think they can find me. Uh, hmm. There's three caches, huh? Nani, how do I get... Man, this gun is so weak. What does this do? <laughs> I don't even know. Before... Wait, but... During and after the events? Oh, really? Is Gerard Butler in that in that one? Good work, but you're not done yet. Find the next cash. You almost have what you need. Oh, Ava Green. You have murdered my sons and disgraced me before my queens. Was Ava Green in soon, in the original? The Ascaris will complete its task and bring you to Ah crap. That was a waste of an ability. Let me through. Okay, why? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Who saw that one coming? Game was being rude. Oh. Beep bop boy. Time for extraction tomorrow. We've got Oh, here we go again with the interference. Ascaris has reached your mind. Ah, crap. Rendered your lotus mute. You will return to me over your own free will. Let's go. Nice. Gerard Butler's dead body is in it? Really? Just, just his body, he doesn't say anything? The... Oh, the narrator is not from Monty Python. But does the narrator try to go for like a Monty Python feel? The wizard you play as is one of my favorite characters from Treen. Really? Um, Treen is is a puzzle game, right? Operator, are you all right? Like at like at its heart, I believe it's it, it is a puzzle this game. Part of your journey is over, Tenno. I admire you for your struggle, but now. <laughs> I am part of you. Lotus, do something. Help the operator. We Grenier are millions strong. How are you? But with a flaw, we are diseased, rotten, sterile. But now, we have you. Cool. Operator, do not abandon me again. Build the countermeasure. I did. I did this Way ahead of you. for my love, my queens. You will forgive my insubordination when I deliver you to them. Our love will be reborn as we feed on your divine blood. Our children will flourish without disease. And I will die at last, at peace. Whoa! Father. Grandfather. What do you think you're doing? I don't know, I have a headache. What? Big one. Waste. Good. You managed to disarm Boris Ascaris. I thought... I thought I lost you. 
Nope, my ear. Oh no. Diascaris had a tampering failsafe. It's burrowed into you and armed itself. We'll need to find Vor before it detonates. Get to navigation. Boarding a Grenier ship to access their personnel records will be the fastest way to find Vor. Operator, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Is he planning on murdering you and using your blood on his... Ordis assumes finding Vor implies <laughs> violence? Kinda, sorta, something like that. All right, let's let's do some upgrading here. Hello, operator. May I suggest you access navigation and save your life for my sake? And this is just the easiest way of doing this. I don't think it's the most like um, efficient way of upgrading everything, but that's that's what I do. Works out. Um, okay, cool. Let us continue. Obtain the nav segment. The nav segment. We're going to the Pacific. Let's go. Obtain the nav segment. Gotcha. The systems on this Grenier Galleon can be made compatible with your ship. Find and extract a navigation segment. Alright, Excalibur is now f level 4. Don't you worry you about a thing. You my sons and disgraced me before my queens. But soon, the Ascaris will complete its task. And bring you to me. Does he not understand that we that that we got rid of that thing? Who turned on the alarm? Come on. Shot you in the back. Yeah. Whee! Whoa. Whoa. Pretty sure that guy has a shotgun. I don't think I ever used a shotgun when I was playing this game on console. Give it to me. Whoop. Good work. We have what we wait. Tenno, coordinates in this nav segment put the galleon on a direct course to a convoy of colonists. You have a choice. You can extract now, or you can disable this galleon and save the colonists. Um. Saving the colonists could jeopardize this mission. I recommend you head straight to extraction. No, the I need. Is yours. I need to save the people. Oh no. No. The Ascaris failsafe is attacking your systems. Your shield capacity has just been halved. You're wasting precious time, Tenno. Oh. Get yeah. no no. <laughs> he doesn't even know I'm here. He had one job. You've reached the ship's power systems. Destroy the reactor. You too. You also only had one job. Destroy the fuel injectors. I need to I need I need to go on my Xbox to find the settings that I use um 
for um, all my sensitivities and stuff because uh, they're they're kind of messed up right now. <laughs> Whoa, it was, the floor was glitching out there. Woo! It was like the hottest green lava ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go! The ship has escaped. I admire your noble intentions, Tenno, but you must survive for the future of the system. <laughs> Did uh, you see that um, Mulan is going to be on Disney Plus, like, this Friday, but you need to pay $30 to watch it? Or you could just wait three months, and uh, it's going to be added to Disney Proceed Plus and, to the on, for everyone to watch without having to pay 30 bucks on December 4th. It'll be it'll become part of the package. Uh Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Here we go. I was going to say I'm like I'm pretty sure I got a nav thing. Is charging up. You need to bring Vor down. He thinks he can capture you again. Don't worry. I will be with you. Let us show him how much you have learned. It would be great if I could have a different weapon. Um, there was a sniper rifle that I used on one of my frames. I think the name, I, I, I think the name of the frame was Trinity, which is funny because that's what I always name my characters uh, if I ever get to name them. Um, and man, was that sniper rifle ever awesome. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Do we actually have any endo? We have 180 endo now. Uh, what we could do as well is, um, we can sort by rarity is what I think I usually did. Yeah. And, um, kind of go through and see which ones we need and don't need. Uh, we don't have doubles of anything yet. And I say, uh, ones that we don't need, but the problem is that I don't want them to disappear <laughs> from my weapons and such. Um, where's the vitality one? Okay. It's flawed. I also don't like upgrading the flawed ones, or I don't really want to, right? Plus 40% shield capacity. I wonder if, I, if I'm using this at all. Um, I wonder if, like, if, if it's on something right now. Uh, that will shield capacity plus 200%. Hmm. But the drain goes way up. I don't know. I feel like right now maybe is not a good time to do that. We're also not at the point in the game where, where things are too crazy. You can always go back and farm uh, again, so... Okay. This is our chance. Vor has been stripped of his elite guard. He is vulnerable. Take him out. So this is basically like the first boss fight. Uh, I believe. Vor is the guy who was trying to capture us at the very beginning. Whoops, he saw me. But they cast me out. Maybe it's not too late to draw your divine blood. Nope. Turn that off. Whoa. Something really cool that this game does uh, is the... Um, you can deflect bullets and stuff. Which is pretty cool with your, with your melee weapon. Put 
Hop. Hop, oh, non. No. That's weird. It usually kills three. What was with that? Uh, there was a red arrow on top of that guy. Here we go. Do you realize your notice has sent you to die? Ha <laughs> ha! Strike through the grenier! There is the assassination target. You know what to do. Um... Uh, I hit him so many times there. Oh no! Full shields again. Uh oh, uh oh. What, what, what is that? Where, where is he going? Did, did he just, did he just fall into the lava and then somehow respawned up here? What is that? Get him! <laughs> nope, nope. Get away. Nope. Sir, could could you leave me alone? Gotcha. Just disintegrated. It's as Did if it. it was directly connected to war. Yeah, Don't weird. Go to extraction. Hold on, there's so much loot though. Woo! Woo! There we go. Play for two hours. We've been playing for two hours? No. It's like an hour and a half. <laughs> the game is very confused. Most of it was trying to troubleshoot. Hold on. Something funky is up here. Do 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 do. Hmm. You've done it, Tenno. I've done it. Boris Ascaris is gone. You are free now. But your work has just begun. The origin system is in chaos, and it needs you, Tenno. Oh, weird. Boris was just a part of the Grenier machine. And we have seen that the Corpus have begun amassing weapons of their own. It is a dangerous time. Ordis will gladly assist the operator in cutting a bloody path in whatever mission they choose. <laughs> cutting a bloody path. It will be at your side. There will be others too. It is time for the Tenno to return. So, what mission will you do next? So basically, tutorial has now been finished. That's kind of what we just did. Uh, okay, let's look at our mail. Darvo. Um... <gasps> I got a Yuka Floof.
Cool. All right, so we finished. Basically, that's the tutorial for his prize, which was supposed to be us, but he failed miserably. Okay. If I may say, operator, your chosen warframe suits you. Uh, uh. All right, cool. Pretty. Void Relic console offline. Uh, we haven't gotten any of those yet. Void Relics is something, basically, uh, you take them into a certain type of mission, and um, you get these... Um, I forget what they call them, but basically... Uh, you really wish that I remember what they called them can't remember but basically you get them and you get enough of them and it opens it up and then you can actually finish the mission I don't, I don't know why I'm thinking void crystals but I'm pretty sure that's not right Venus Junction reactivate the solar rail by completing the tasks for, tasks for this junction and defeating its guardian uh, we need to do we need to apply four mods to a single warframe or weapon operator were you visualizing a bloody battle me Did I not do too. that? Uh, up upgrade any mod to rank 2 or higher through the fusion process. Okay. Easy peas there. So basically, that's like the guardian of the next planet. And we have to do certain things in order to be able to even take them on. Uh, what we're going to do is... Um, we are going to upgrade... Redirection. Wants us to rank it to at least level 2. Which we will go ahead and do here. Apply fusion. Uh, solid mod would exceed capacity. Okay, see, this is the problem, though. Is that it would make it exceed the capacity. So that means this mod would not be able to be used on my Warframe. That's a problem. Uh, I don't want to upgrade one that's flawed, though. Plus five attack speed. Ooh, that's... It's actually a good one. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So it's going to cost me 966 credits and 20 endo. Yes, I'll do it. There we go. We just unlocked three achievements on Steam, by the way. Um, and we got one step closer to... The of mods is impressive, Operator. But I wonder if there are more to be had. We got one step closer to being able to... Uh, do this. We need to apply four mods to a single Warframe or weapon. Four. Which means we have to actually um, level quite a bit. What we can do here is that we can actually um, redo some of what we've already done, I believe. Hold on. Let's go here. Um, we can redo... Oh, no. We can do um, capture mission. Uh, these are actually pretty quick, if I remember correctly. Because it's not like you have to kill anything. Uh, you basically have to uh, find the target. Uh, you need to take them down enough uh, without killing them. And then you um, basically arrest them. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And it sounds like it hurts. But we'll see. You are here on a capture kind of mission. You must break their, find, break their atoms down. Um. Hold on. Where are you going? Whoa, it's a Kubra. Oh, it's another. Target nowhere here. Track them down quickly. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Working on it. Found him. <laughs> He's very, very slow. Yep. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and that's how it's done. And that is it.
Woo! Wow, there's a lot of you guys here. Wow. <laughs> it was like a welcome wagon. Welcome to die. Nice. Here we go. Do that like a hundred more times and we're good. Oh, I'm, I've, I've qualified. <laughs> Somehow I, I, what? How have I, excuse me? Huh? Nani? This doesn't seem right. <laughs> okay, three there. Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno Arm Two there. That's weird. You know what? Uh, mastery rank up. You have qualified for the mastery rank one test. You can only attempt this once per day. Are you ready to become an initiate? Yes. I don't. This is. Oh, this is something else. You must be a master of all their weapons. Prove yourself with your primary weapon. Get after <laughs> Oh no I believe you can handle more I sure can Whoa I thought I would slow slow down time there, but I did not. This gun is so weak. Oh no. Guns that you get later are like so, so much better. Excellent. Continue. Excellent. I didn't realize that we're also being timed here. Stop moving. There we go. That's a lot of missing. There you go. Nice. Cool. Looks like three waves is it. A formidable performance. This test is now complete. Another job well executed. Sweet. I wonder if I should do that. Like, is that like available every day? Or if I fail, I can only I'll have to wait until tomorrow. Is that kind of it? That was okay. Operator, you have remembered well how the Tendo arm themselves. Nope. I actually don't think we have any other weapons available to us. Unfortunately, what I have linked to my uh, Prime Gaming account is the console account, so. Yeah, I don't own anything else. Yeah, I'd have to buy it all. 
Um, I like stuff that is dual blades, so I might actually. Can I buy this for 175 credits? Or I'll buy the blue the blueprint for 40,000. Whoa, 40,000! That's like everything I've got. <laughs> no, no, I can't do it. Can't do it. Um, we'll just grind some more with what we have, I guess. We'll just do that. Uh, can we actually make it to the next planet yet? Fordis is how angry. Hmm. I may require maintenance after all. Thermia fractures. Seal fractures across the Orb Vallis. Fracture status out of control. Bonus is none. Buried debts. I don't know what. Oh, Plains of Eidolon. I never did anything on the Plains of Eidolon. I don't know if we're quite there yet. <sighs> nope. Looks like we still gotta keep on um, grinding here. Back to Earth. Dracetus. Let's go here. Just kind of do all of the um, random quests that they have on Earth. Try to level up. Try to level up enough so we can defeat the Guardian um, to the next planet. The enemy is at our doorstep. You must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. Oh, okay. I know what this is. All right, these these can take quite a bit of time, uh, unfortunately. But the good thing about it is, is that they do help you to level up pretty quickly. Um, our our weapons kind of stink though, so that is kind of concerning. I hear you, but I don't see you. Uh, there you are. One down. Where are ya? Get away from that. Funny is that most of the stuff is getting one shot with my bow staff. No. Get out here. <laughs> this guy's a shotgun and he's all the way back there. We've cleared. One down. Basically, what it's going to have us do is go through five uh, waves, I believe. And then it gives us the option of leaving. Uh, the thing that's unfortunate, especially at this um, level, is that I will not be able to go anywhere past five. Because um, the difficulty goes up so much. And it's uh, beneficial to come in here with, with a party. To kind of increase your rewards and keep on going. But no fear, you can just keep doing this over and over if you really wanted to, uh, since it is a pretty quick way to uh, level. Oh, come on! <laughs> Uh, hello? Wave cleared. Two down.
Hello? <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Get him out. Come on. Whoops. Reloading. Tem out. Tem out. Oh no. I always wondered. <laughs> I was wondering like, can can I can I knock that away? Spoiler alert, I guess not. No. Uh, what we just used there was actually a. Uh, ooh. It's an ability uh, for blinding, which was pretty cool. It's just a. It's just tough here because uh, there's a lot of verticality here, and what what happened was that one guy was going up, um, was jumping up to get away as I was uh, using my ability. So, what I was hoping to do is be able to blind those uh, couple dudes, and then um, I was hoping to be able to blind them and then take them out with my melee. Okay. That was weird. Something came up and it said mercy. Okay, there we go. Woo! Blunderbuss. <laughs> we're we're gonna see that one a lot. Uh, that's that's a mod that lands all the time, or that um, we get a lot of, and uh, it comes in handy for getting endo. There we go. Uh, where are you, sir? All right. I think we're down to one more wave here. Wave five is coming up. Okay, I don't know why my gun wasn't firing. Oh, it's reloading. Whoops! I was being all cool. Wait, waiting for the next wave and I forgot to... Uh, um, reload. I saw it. There we go. Pressure point. Spotter? We were just talking about that earlier. He knows.
Is that it? Nope. Oh wait. Ah, I'm so stuck. See ya! That dude flew! <laughs> nice. That was awesome. Alright, so we're gonna extract. You can more of the enemy. They gave us a Lith P3 relic. And these are the things where we can choose certain... Um, choose certain rewards. Or we can choose certain missions. And we take one of those relics. And um, each one of those relics can have different types of um, loot in them. Yo, Shadow, how's it going? <laughs> the framing of wars. <laughs> it's going well. How's it going, man? How are you? How you doing? What you up to? Hmm. We're getting closer. Excellent armaments, operator. Please return covered in blood. We have two, two items now. That have three apiece. Let's see. Is there anything we can break down? Um. No. Not the real. Hmm. Nope. Not gonna do it. Just woke up. It was a killer. Oh, wow. Dude. That's no bueno. But I hope you enjoyed your, uh, your nap. Uh, air support charges. Charges consumed by landing craft air support. Okay. Uh, we don't need to make these yet. Also, we don't even have the, uh, necessary materials. So, it doesn't even matter. It was amazing. <laughs> Dude, naps feel good. Um, unfortunately, if I take a nap for too long, I feel worse afterwards. But if I take, like, a small little cat nap for, like, 20 or 30 minutes, feels good. It feels good. Night wave. Ooh, there's room here for something else. Uh, all right. Let's keep doing things. That's where we want to get to. Uh, interception. Spy. I kind of don't mind the defense ones just because. We do kind of level a lot while doing it. <laughs> All right, and I think, I think, I'm sorry, Shadow, but we're going to be wrapping things up here pretty soon. Um, the enemy is I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to level four. For, um, or to be able to equip four mods. But I... Because the, the Guardian fights <laughs> take like 30 seconds. If you're equipped properly. Um, which early on they're pretty easy. Oh no! I, I tried to use... Use my ability, but I guess I didn't have uh, enough charge available. I feel like they're hiding a lot this time. What? I'm stuck. Don't work for him and got iceborne again on, on PC mainly because I want to see the difference in load times. Oh gosh, really? It's gonna be such a difference if if your laptop has an SSD. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. We got another blunderbuss. Just like I said, that's going to be one that we're going to be turning into endo many, many times over. Holy crap. Did it just, what the heck was that? Is that wave one down? Nope. Wave one down. There we go. <laughs> um, I I have to uh, buy Monster Hunter Iceborne again. Uh, I just don't want to plop down sixty bucks for it, so I'll be waiting until there's um a sale on it. Pay it up then. Whoop! 
What'd you drop? What was that? Some ferrite. I see. Come on. Ugh. I like the bow staff and I don't like the bow staff. The bow staff is one of those things where you once once you go to use it, you 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 have to be sold to that animation. Cause you get stuck real hard. See ya! Gotta farm up some credits too so we can uh get some sort of uh sniper rifle. PC Hunter will be hunting horn a hunting horn? Really? I thought I saw some... So, I was hanging out in a Monster Hunter stream yesterday, I think. And I think someone was using a hunting horn, but it looked like a giant fan. Like, a fan that they used to use back in the day to fan, like, kings and stuff. I don't know. I, I don't know if I saw that right. But it was different, and I was like, what is that? And I'm like, I think that that's one of those things that's like the bagpipes. Or whatever. Um, but I wasn't sure because it, it... Oh, man. Because it didn't really look like it. It looked like it, but at the same time, it didn't look like it. Like, it looked like it would be that type of weapon, but it didn't look like it was that type of weapon, if that makes sense. on your butt. And by the way, I'm sure you can tell, but I am not using a mouse and keyboard <laughs> for uh, for Warframe. I I feel it plays really, really well with um, with controller. And I use Melee a lot in the Melee key, I think, that you uh, they bind it, uh, they bind Melee to is kind of odd. And would not be comfortable to use for long periods of time. And I wouldn't know exactly what to change it to in order to make my fingers not be freaking out all the time. Ooh, nice. Got a new new mod there. Oh wow, really? You don't uh, like you don't see a lot of people using the uh the hunting horn, right? I feel like it's not that common of a weapon. Uh when when I play on PC again though, I'm I'm going with the insect lave. I just love I I just love the way that it feels. I I just love it and I I love the way it looks. Mostly I just want to play on PC cuz I I want to, like, be able to do content that I hadn't before, and I want it to run real nice and smooth. Probably should have used my uh, ability there. Nice. What do you drop? Sundering Weave. Nice. I'm stuck on something. <laughs> I'm like trying to move. Got stuck. 
Oh, no. Got stuck on the cryopod. See more people playing hunting horror than I do Lance. Really? Is that recently or or has that always been? Melee prowess. Wow, we're getting a lot of new uh, mods here. That's good. Uh, just messing with a different buff, but I can get max earplugs and 2,500 raw damage going into a hunt. What? With, with the hunting horn? Say what? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, I forgot how, how much you get stuck on stuff when uh, using the bow. Hey, what are you doing? Oh no! That's it? <laughs> no. Uh, I was I was trying to use the uh, the javelins, but I didn't have enough energy. Whoops! And I just used that by mistake. Oh, rip. Uh, I hear you, but I don't see you, friend. Where are you? How much does it cost to use that? It must cost up something like 75. Extraction is ready. Unless you can handle more nice. of the enemy. Let's see, I think we might have gotten to where... Well, our Excalibur is still pretty low level. Our bow is ranked higher than our frame? What? Also, our Exalted Blade is ranked 9. Nani? Since his main selling point is its defense and its charge attack, but its offense is really low to make up for its high defense. It's really balanced as well as it puts its... Do you think it's one of those things that they might end up doing a buff to eventually? Or do they not tend to do that in Monster Hunter? I feel like they don't really tend to do that. All right, I didn't know if maybe I found a um a blueprint or something out there. I may say, operator, your chosen warframe suits you. Ha ha. Hmm. Darn. Uh, let's see. Exterminate. We'll try one of these. The only problem with these is that sometimes it takes <laughs> time to find enemies. It's kind of one of the reasons why I don't really like doing these too much. New skill. Wait, as a new skill, all weapons will be there getting on October 1st. Station here. Leave no one standing. Uh, is that something that they announced in their little, um, they did like a stream a couple days ago. Is that what they announced? Also, they announced the final something is the content gonna basically be be done for monster hunter now like is that it like whoop an iat and star nice um like is that it as far as content goes No! Yeah, joik.
We've got Signal singing the same song as our victim. Careful now. I can't tell if that lady is on our side or not. Have become, there's no going back. You got to find out what's protecting them and then take your shot. What does that even mean? Oh, wow. Help. Whoa! So I need to kill them with my melee? Is that it? I need to shatter them? Is that the dealy dealio? Holy potatoes! Is that you? How did you do that? I'm not even sure if I'm mad. Uh, could you, could, what? Hello? Could, there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess, um, when I come up to one of those glass enemies, it's supposed to kill them with melee. like there's one somewhere downstairs that will be the final free update uh f the final free update uh if they're gonna do more paid dlc i hope i hope so but it looks like the end considering the new consoles are coming out soon okay so you don't think that they were gonna make like a, a like a ad, like a re not really remaster but like a definitive edition for the new consoles hmm so do you think that there's like an actual new Monster Hunter game on the way? I, I I thought I heard someone talking about um a new Monster Hunter for Switch. But if they're making a new Monster Hunter for Switch, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if they made one for all other um all other platforms. But the problem is is that with Monster Hunter, right? Um Monster Hunter World for PC came out what? Uh 10 months In later? Here, see the feeds light up. <laughs> it's going down, kids. Like that's like that's a problem. And I I don't want to buy it for a console again and then have to because I like the game so much and I'll play it again, have to buy it on PC again. The God of All Monster is Fatalis the Black Dragon, as well as a new skill called the Clutch Claw Boost, giving all weapons the benefits of the weakening ability for both weapon types. So now you can weaken a part with the Clutch Claw, as well as drop Stinger ammo. Was that not something that it did in the first place? I thought when you when when you use the Clutch Claw, I thought um, if you hit the monster enough it would make it drop oh stinger ammo wait 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 wait. okay N never mind ammo is only used for guns that's right which how how is um how is the gun as a weapon in that game is it is it any good is it fun because that that's always intrigued me Mission complete. Yeah, I thought... 
I thought when you would clutch claw them, they would drop something. I don't remember what it was. It's been a while. It's weird to think, like, when was it that I beat Iceborne? And then I was thinking about it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it was like last December. <laughs> Guns are really fun, but more towards the end game. You are basically the king of stats. Of status pills. Paralyzing, putting monsters. Okay, so almost, it almost sounds like you're like a, like a, like a mage class. <laughs> Throwing your magics all around. Come on. You know, you know what it might do? Since this isn't, this isn't working. Uh... This one only has three more capacity. Hmm. We can put a bunch of cheap ones on here. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, remove. And there we go. We can, we can now do, do the thing. I think. Now, if I switch back, is it going to be like, oh, no, you can't now. <laughs> Let's see, are they are gonna are they gonna let me? Yes! <laughs> Alright, cool. Um No There we go. Alright, we're about to do it. Oh, cool. Okay, so that's kind of a buff for the for the insect life. That's that that that's cool. The sacred rail. Oh crap! This dude is level eight. Okay. Hold on. Blocking everything. Oh gosh. Run. Nope. This is bad. Alright, we 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 may not be where we need to be in order to beat this guy. I think I think I cheated it a little bit. <laughs> We've we were not ready. Also, we're hitting him for zero, so that's that's not good either. Whoa, dude! Slow your roll! We're just hitting him for zero over and over. Alright. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm sorry I tried to do it, game. I'm really sorry. Also, he's level 8. We we could have had him there. Let's let's try that again. Um I'm fairly certain though the game is is not happy. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Holy cow, dude. Stop it. Nope.
Come on, get him. Come on. Oh, that was fast. He's fast. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm shooting you in the foot. Oh my gosh, that, that was crazy. Okay, good, we got it. It's not actually flat butt, uh, flat buff, not flat butt. Um, oh, it's a jewel. Oh. Well, we did it. There's the first guardian down. I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to do that then, but oh well. We persisted. And hey, welcome back, Mario. Um, Twitch twitched like an hour ago. It, um, I keep the stream on my phone uh, just so I don't lose chat. And um, I noticed that it stopped. And I was like, oh. So Twitch twitched. No worries. You just delete us and come in for that fetus. <laughs> what? You know how to rhyme. There we go. We are now on Venus. We have made it to Venus. Mercury Junction is where we want to make it to next. What do we have to do in order to get there? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Defeat five Eximus enemies. Apparently, we've done two already. I didn't even know. And then we have to do that all that other stuff, which we can do next time we play Warframe. Um, <laughs> if you can call that rhyme. It was a rhyme. Sometimes a rhyme slow, sometimes a rhyme quick. That's how Shadow Rolls. You know? All right. But this has been fun. This is uh, stream one of um, Warframe Down. This has been a lot of fun restarting here on PC. It was a little bit of a struggle, but we did it. Um, hopefully, we don't have GPU problems going forward. Like I said... Um, tomorrow, NVIDIA is unveiling their uh, next line of uh, graphics cards. So I'll, I, I know I'll be uh, watching with bated breath to see how much they're going to release them for. And because uh, I need to build a PC at some point, especially because all these games that we're going to be playing going forward are going to be on PC. So I have no choice but to upgrade or suffer the consequences like we did earlier. Um, I think that was more some kind of glitch, though. That was going on because we haven't gone above like 60 70 percent gpu usage since then and we were running at like 98 percent for some reason operator the system needs it was really weird will you begin but operation? um <laughs> everyone thank you so much for hanging out uh if anyone's new out there and want to be informed of when i stream again make sure to hit that follow button uh next time we play i think depending on what ends up happening with avengers i think we might be playing avengers tomorrow but we'll see um, yeah, but this is day one of Warframe on PC down and, um, yeah. And also, uh, we'll be getting in some Final Fantasy 14, uh, soon. Cause I'm also enjoying that game as well. And, uh, that game from what it looked like is okay, uh, on my CPU and GPU, but we shall see. Um, yeah. And, uh, I should have this up on the YouTube as well in a couple days. So be on the lookout for that. I may have to, uh, edit it down pretty good. Um, because of all the issues that we had earlier. Cause they, they, they don't translate very well to the recording, <laughs> but, uh, and thank you. I'm, I'm glad I'm back too. And thank you for, uh, hanging out with me tonight, but, uh, that's going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed and hopefully I will see you next time. Peace. Whoa.